So AstroTurf that was used at the Victoria Stadium was then moved to the Lathbury Sports Complex. It's now going to find a new home in Morocco, in a rural mountain village called Tezuka, which is about 14 minutes from Chefchaouen. Now GBC did request access to Lathbury to take some footage of the AstroTurf, but this was denied by number six. However, the turf will be put to good use in this village Tezuka, where it will be made into a football pitch for children. Uh, we've been doing football tournaments for 10 years in Morocco in the, in the kind of rural, small villages. And it's been fantastic to get bringing in healthcare, um, educating the kids over there about monkeys and how to treat them. So we've got a really good package of uh, providing things that people have in jib, that, like football boots, football shirts, they don't want anymore. And we've been taking them over to the villages, distributing to them to the kids, organising football tournaments, letting them meet other villages and in a safe, controlled environment of sport and then educating them on, on the, the kind of really important things that they can do in their area to improve the wildlife and their, their own hygiene, especially dental hygiene. So that's been great. And then I've realised over um, the last couple of years, they're developing really well and they're, they're taking on the, the sports football management themselves. But their pitches are really bad and they're getting a lot of injuries and then in the winter they get washed away. So, uh, sat at the stadiums in Jib, I've seen that there's a lot of AstroTurf that, that's been going spare with our upgrading. And the GSLA have, have been really kind to donate some of that. So we're going to take it over to uh, the Chefchaouen region and we're going to install a, a five-a-side pitch. Uh, and the master plan is that we will say, if you go to school, you can use the pitch, but you must you know, behave in the right way with the wildlife and you know your teachers so that we can create a, an education system that works as well as parallel in that sport. Fitness enthusiast Nick Etheridge took on a month-long MedSteps challenge to fundraise for the charity. He's raised £2,162. You start to look at the projects that they do, so community-based projects, um, sporting projects, building schools, um, and really just helping kind of our neighbours in Morocco to have more sustainable employment and a better quality of life, really. So we have a trek later on in the year to Jordan, so to raise further funds. The projects are kind of a little bit up in the air and on hold a little bit, obviously, due to the COVID crisis. But the reason I've done the Mediterranean Steps one is because of obviously lockdown, not being able to get into Spain to hike and firstly wanting to keep myself physically fit and give myself a challenge. But secondly, I just saw it as an opportunity to, to raise further funds for the charity during this time when people maybe aren't spending so much money because they're not sort of out and about. So maybe they've got a bit more expendable that they can kind of help out with. Rifcom says this AstroTurf project is going to be a real game changer for the region and hopes that the next top professional footballer may come from Chefchaouen.